Hola amigos, we are The Roots. On this vlog, we are sharing with you our ups and multiple downs on our mission to travel and experience as much from life as possible. So please tag along on this journey. So Mr. Root, what are we doing now? On today's episode, we're finally going to prime the bus. After so much work and so many failed attempts to actually get to this point, and I don't even know how many steps back, we're finally getting to prime and paint the bus. Yay! Getting ready to paint. Paint or prime? Prime. Same well, thing. Well, no, but okay. So we are going to. Now we can see. We are going to start with the inside. Huh? And we're going to prime. And we're adding a special additive to it. We're adding a ceramic additive to our primer, and it's a heat locker. Oh, okay. So it provides thermal blocking. We're gonna try it on the inside, see how it goes, and then we'll move on to the outside. If it goes well on the inside, we'll continue on with the outside. Awesome. So our inside is basically our practice. Okay. So we'll develop our painting skills inside. Yes. How long has it been taking us to get to this point, senor? It seems like every week we're there, and then we find another issue we have to resolve, and then the next week we're there, and we have another issue to resolve, something to sand, something to fill, something to build, something to fabricate, body filler, fiberglass, you name it, it's always something. But at the end of the day, we're fully sheeted, all the holes are cut, everything's prepped inside, all the body fabrication work is done. Okay. We're gonna shoot our gray primer with our additive, see how that goes on the inside. Okay. If all is well and the wind stops, we'll try and shoot the outside too. God, I hope so because I will be so, so mad. So we'll let it dry and then we'll hopefully shoot our paint on the rest of it next weekend. That's the goal. Okay. Awesome. We'll see. So what do we do this morning, senor? Okay. So we masked off all the window openings for now. Basically, that's going to keep all the overspray inside the bus. Yes. Um, so what we did is masked off the cockpit area and the windshield and basically closed up all the windows. Okay. What I've done so far is I set up the compressor. I've got my gun ready. I've got my regulator and filter ready. Yeah. Um, now for this exercise, because we are adding this additive, tell so, me about it. So we have an additive, and basically it's a ceramic thermal blocker. Created by NASA, by the way. Yes, they've used it, you know, for, for Space heat. shadows and yeah. stuff. So basically what it does, the solar rays hit the vehicle and it kind of blocks it and reflects the, the energy back. Yeah. It prevents it from going inside. So a lot of shipping containers, the sea containers, the Connex boxes that come from overseas that have to have temperature controlled, um, they'll use this. Yes. So you can you can actually see this stuff in use in other things. Yes. Okay. And um, what happened, you, you, we have to buy a special sprayer with a big nozzle for doing this. Right, so one of the things we cannot use is a airless sprayer, uh, mainly because the tip sizes are too small. And secondly, once the the paint and the additive go through the pump, yeah. the piston will crush the ceramic and turn it into powder and make it useless. Yes. So you're just adding particles to the paint at that point. Yes. So at least this way we're spraying, you know, in a, in a cup, a cup style or a pressure pot style. That way, all the additive goes and it's applied the way it's supposed to. Yes. Okay. 
you read instructions, right? I did. Sure. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, we don't have value on this. Okay, well. Time to work. Time to work. So, how we say in this house? Chop chop. No chop chop. <laughs> yep, chop chop. <laughs> I can feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough Good morning Mr. Root Another day Good morning Okay so Tell me what we did yesterday. Well, let's go have a look. Okay, let's go have a look. So if you notice in here, it isn't bare metal anymore. It's not. It's gray. I know. We primered the inside. Okay. Completely. Top, the bottom, even the floor with a little bit of overspray. Yeah, it's like just dust. So we had all kinds of bare metal. We wanted to prevent rust. So it gives it a rust prevention, number one, but it also gives a, a surface for the spray foam to adhere to. Yes. Or even spray glue if you're gonna add uh, like foam panels. Yeah. Um, and we have some other options we're looking at as far as uh, heat blocking. Um, so yeah. that's what we did yesterday. We taped off all the windows, controlled the overspray, because it was a nice windy day. Again, it is windy again. Yeah, um, we, yeah it's gonna be kind of disappointing day, but we'll see how it goes, right? But as you look around, you'll see it's gray everywhere. And these funny looking can spots, that's all the original blue where the uh, the fiberglass insulation was put in. Yes. So those of you that have done a bus and pulled the ceiling or pulled the walls, you know that that nasty fiberglass yellow or pink insulation, it's all dirty and dusty. Yeah, you know, it feels different in here. It has a different look to it. Feels cleaner for one. Yeah. So we did something we're experimenting with. We used a an additive. It's a ceramic based heat blocker. Yeah. Um, yeah, you told us about it yesterday, but maybe you should show us today how you make that mix on the sure, paint. Sure, we can do that. Yes. So it's a ceramic ball, and, and we'll show you a picture of that later. Um, add it to the paint, and then basically it gives a kind of a velvety suede, almost suede texture to it. Yeah. Okay. So once we paint, we're going to do the same thing on the outside. So we're going to have a ceramic blocker outside, metal, ceramic blocker inside. Yep. So we're trying to control the temperature. Part of that has to do with uh, heat transfer in cold environments. And what that means is if you have temperature differentials, you can actually develop uh, condensation inside. Yes. And that's what we're trying to prevent. Because one of the biggest issues with RVs, it's always humid and moist inside. Yes. And if you're using like a propane heater, really humid. Yeah. Propane and natural gas, one of the byproducts is water. Yeah. You know, the combustion process. So we're trying to prevent that and keep it dry. That's why we're gonna use a diesel heater for one. Yes. Um, but we also want to prevent that uh, condensation effect. Yes. Let me see. Da 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 da. <laughs> really? You're funny, Senor. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be. Yeah, he just for the record, he's been criticizing me all morning because somehow my suit ended up a hundred times dirtier than his suit and torn, and torn apart for <laughs> whatever reason. I cannot keep it intact, I guess. I don't know. How is that? Well, you, you look like a big condom, senor. <laughs> okay, so are you going to show us how you are mixing this um, additive, ceramic additive? So what is it? It's yes, you do. The, you oh. deal with that. Okay, so this is a product, high-tech. 
this was um, invented or whatever by NASA and it's used on the space shuttles as far as I will know so Brian's gonna mix um, our paint why, why don't you tell us about this paint because this is not oil based paint and it took me a while to digest the fact that this is water based paint so this is um, this is an industrial application paint okay we're not using automotive based paint oh yeah we'll literally it would have cost us five thousand dollars in paint alone yes not imagine to hire the painter yes it would have been a incredible paint job okay. to have this look like a car quality paint job yes so this is basically what is used to paint metal roofs and yes. you know big industries and those uh, like domes metal dome storage facilities some things like that right chemical it's chemical resistant uv protected uh, basically it's it's a it's an industrial application paint yes it's rust preventative this is actually just the primer so it's an acrylic rust preventative metal primer but apparently it's as good as the oil base but with a fraction of the cost and it doesn't take days to dry yes it takes three hours to dry actually yesterday was almost dry almost instantly so what we're trying to prevent is a flash dry so it can stay on wet long enough to actually adhere okay that's one of the issues with the paint and you spray it that it dries too fast. It, yes. You know, mommy? Yeah. Thank you, Ka. She was our masking engineer today, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, chaka, 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 chaka. No dance? You get what you get. <laughs> but you're so boring. Whatever. <laughs> so. Shut over. Shut ever, you know. Okay, so tell us about that. So we bought a bulk pack of this. It's supposed to be good for 12 gallons, right? So you can see it's really, really fine. It's fine as flour, if not finer. Okay. And it flows. Really well. It's lighter than sand, the thing. So how much are you using? You have to measure so, it. This is one quart, and it even tells you one quart to the top of the line inside the rim, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so you add one quart to one gallon. Okay. So each gallon will end up giving you five quarts worth of paint product, plus whatever water you need to use to thin it. Okay. That's our quart, that's our gallon. Cost are really well, the flies, flies everywhere. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, and make up for what I. So we're using uh, air paint sprayers. Okay, try those things, guys. So these are basically suction or venturi type painter uh, paint sprayers, and we're not using a airless sprayer, which has to go through a compressor. So the issue that I discovered is if you use this additive, and, and this is a ceramic ball. If you, if you go to the website and do the research, you'll figure this out. But it's a ceramic ball. If it goes through the pump, the pump will actually crush it and turn it into ceramic powder. Okay. Which is not what we're trying to achieve. It's already a powder, but it will smash it even more. Right, but if you were to look at it, you know, say under a microscope, you would see their little round balls. Yeah. Okay. So what we're trying to do is keep that intact. If we use a, a an airless 
sprayer. Yeah. It goes through the pump. The pumping motion of the piston is going to break it up into a powder, destroy the pump in the end. Yeah. But it's not going to do any good for the additive. The, the purpose of the additive. Okay. So you can either use a suction venturi type paint sprayer or a gravity feed, which is really what I would like to have. Yeah. They just don't make them with a big enough pot. Yeah, because we we try to find a big enough nozzle. Well, that that's the other thing is you have to have a big enough nozzle to flow the paint. Now, right now, it's really thick. If you look at it, it's very thick. And this might work in an airless, but this will not work in this application. Can you talk louder? The thing is. So on. now, what I'm going to have to do is actually add water to thin it out to make it thin enough so it'll flow through the nozzle in the paint gun. Through the nozzle, got it. Because if it doesn't suck up the paint, it's not going to spray. Of course. Makes sense. Yep. And the beauty of working with a water-based paint is that you just add water. And it's not as toxic. Uh, yeah, and it's not as toxic. You're breathing this thing. Even though we're using full protection, it's still... Is that thin enough? Nope. More water? We're getting there. And how are you calculating the water just by like I'm just looking eye? at the consistency of the paint. So I'm trying to get it thin enough that it'll actually spray and stay wet because I want that wet coat so it doesn't flash dry on me. Got it. If that makes sense. Yep. It's gonna get wet. Okay. Okay. You're ready, right? Here we go. Okay, well, let me put the uh, time lapse and let's see how it goes. Morning, Mr. Rude. What are we doing? We're gonna go paint today. I feel like a kid. <laughs> I don't know. Don't say like today. So what do we have here? What is this thingy? So we got ourselves a Graco Magnum X5 airless paint sprayer. Okay. Yay team. Anyhow, we uh, we sprayed the primer. Obviously, you can tell it's gray. And if you see our videos, you'll know that we sprayed it. Yeah, this it. is part of the same video. So this is a continuation of the same thing. So like two minutes ago, you saw us putting the primer. So we did. They can't hear you, baby. We're using Dunn Edwards uh, Endura Prime and Endura Coat. They work together and they're meant to work together. Uh, obviously, you could probably use other paints, but um, we went with an industrial coating. This isn't a car and we don't expect, you know, showroom quality paint on it, but we want it to last and we want it to look good. Now we're going to use an air less sprayer. So this will have less overspray, better coverage, so on and so on. But we couldn't run the ceramic through this because it would damage the pump and probably clog the tip. So we're using Endura Prime for the primer and Endura Coat. So primer, paint. So it's an industrial type coating, uh, UV protected, blah, 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 blah. You can go online and look it up for yourself. Um, we decided on our colors and we got it color matched at the factory store. Yeah, the, we, the top is called um, Wells Gray. 
Swell's gray, yes. Uh, the bottom is called Sheet Metal. Sheet Metal. <laughs> Funny. Sheet um, Metal. Funny story. That is the same color that the new Ashton Martin. The Aston Martin and Porsche used something called China Gray. And that color matched with Dun, Ed Dun Edwards paint as Sheet Metal. Sheet Metal. So... But here we go. It's not going to look like an Ashton Martin, but at least it's going to have the color of an Ashton <laughs> Martin. I'm good with that. All right. Right? Are you ready? Sure. Oh, I'm so excited. So you need to load this with water too or what? No. So when we go through the whole setup, you have to flow water through it. Oh, okay. So show us your, oh. your, your toy. You were we unboxed the airless paint sprayer. It's a Graco Magnum X5 True Airless. Okay. Pretty cool machine, actually. Um... We took it out of the box, we cleaned it, we followed the instructions to the letter. Um, we flowed water through it, flowed it through the hose, um, did everything. We have the paint connected. We already sprayed some paint on a piece of uh, cardboard. Um, now we're ready to go paint. Okay. So we'll, let's see, go. let's see how this goes. Now we say in this house, no, don't chop, say chop. it. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. But things are looking up. I want to get high on you. Caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should. I want to get high on by surprise by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I One week later. Hi, Mr. Root. Hi. How are we doing today? Exhausted. I know. <laughs> he was so what awesome. Did we do today? Wow. Tell us about it. So we got the idea that we were going to use a different, brighter color for the split, the accent color. Yeah. So we entertained about 15 different paint colors, and we narrowed it down to about three. Um, or four, maybe, I don't remember. So, anyhow, we decided on a color because before we painted it, it painted it, it started to look like a prison bus. Now, it looks like a happy prison bus. <laughs> and when you see the colors, you'll understand if you haven't already. <laughs> so, keep in mind, yes, I'm, I'm looking at the colors and yeah, it looks like a prison bus, but it's going to a special place <laughs> where happy people go. <laughs> um, so anyhow, we, we literally took most of the day just taping and masking and papering all the stuff that we wanted to. That was a nightmare. It almost it caused sucked. a divorce. <laughs> and it sucked. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, we're moving along. And the side that was in the sun, the paint starts sagging and letting go. So we have a little bit of overspray we have to deal with. Hey, Mr. Root. So what happened? You couldn't live with that color, huh? So, we painted the center stripe with something called Surfside. Okay. It was a very happy blue. Yeah. We thought it was going to be a good breakup between the gray and the tan, which you guys will see in a minute. So once we painted it, we weren't real happy with it. Let it go until the next day. I walked outside and I'm like, there's no way. This is not the right color. Nope. So time goes on. I don't know. It's been, what, three weeks now since yes, we painted we, it. The weather didn't help us. We've had wind. We've had rain. We've had all kinds of crazy things going on. So now we're at a point where we can repaint, which we did. And we painted it with a different color. Uh, Blue Monday, I think is what it's called. Yes. 
So now here we are. We're getting ready to do the reveal. Without seeing the other colors, I really like it. It looks metallic almost. It does. It looks better on the other side of the sun. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, show us, senor. So here we go. So we went through the whole masking Shaban this morning again, which was faster this time than the first time. Well. Well, what do you think? I really like it. Definitely, it's not like loud in your face like like it was before. Oh yeah. Having problems there, you? So that's it. This is it. This is it for the paint job. This is it. Yep. Finally, it's done. We're done painting. Well, we need to retouch, but that's going to be the girls. Well, here's the thing. If you don't like it, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> I like it. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. I like it. And we need to retarp it too. Because it's not ready for windows. It doesn't look like a prison transport bus. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like a prison transport bus that's going to a happy place either. Nope. I really like it. And when the win once the windows are on, I think it's going to look so much better. And the doors too. That still needs to get painted. Enjoy. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Primer and painted. Primer and painted, yes. Okay, well, say goodbye, senor. Bye. That's it. That's it. See you next time. See you next video. See you next video. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us today. Please give us a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. And until next time, hasta luego, amigos.